So have you ever wondered how experts dig up information on anyone just using social media? Hi everyone, today we're deep diving into the world of open source intelligence or OSINT and I'm going to show you how to find any public information with just a few clicks. So whether you're a journalist, a private investigator or you're just plain curious, tools that are listed on the OSINT framework can help you find hidden information in plain sight. So I'll guide you through some of the most efficient tools on this website and I'll guide you through how to actually navigate through social networks and uncover digital footprints and connect the dots. You'll be able to find all the information that is in front of you. You just need to know where to look. Stay tuned as we use the power of OSINT and social media to find information about yourself online so you can use it to protect yourself and others around you. Let's get started and turn you into an OSIT expert today. Hi, I'm AJ, and on this channel, I teach you all things cybersecurity for beginners. So first up then, we need to answer what actually is OSINT or open source intelligence. So OSINT or open source intelligence actually refers to the analysis of publicly available information from a wide range of sources to produce actionable intelligence. So these sources can actually include, but are not limited to, the internet, social media platforms, news outlets, public records, academic publications, and much, much more. And once you've gathered that information, it should also be stored and used legally and ethically. So when you're starting out with open source intelligence, you need to decide what type of open source intelligence you're going to be doing. And a tool like OSINT Framework, like you can see here, is a great tool to help you navigate and decide what information it is you're actually looking for. So let's say you're looking to try and find certain email addresses or information about certain email addresses, you can find that in here. But for the basis of this video, we're going to go into social media open source intelligence. And of course, OSIM Framework has got some tools here that can help us do that. And it prints them out for each different platform as well. So that's something we're going to explore now. And as you can see here then, SOCMINT or social media open source intelligence is considered to be a sub-discipline of open source intelligence and refers to the techniques and tools that allow for the collection and analysis of information from social media platforms. So using OSINT framework, we can grab the certain tools that can allow us to do social media open source intelligence. But like I said, OSINT framework has a vast amount of tools on there, but for the basis of this video, we're going to focus on SOCMINT or social media intelligence. And if you actually got three types of social media data, so first up, you've got you user posted. So this is actually the information or data that users will share on social media themselves. Things such as text, videos, images, links. It's the primary data that users generate themselves and is often the most visible on social media. And user posted content is good because it reflects the person's opinions, interests and experiences, making it a rich source of information for open source intelligence. The second type of content is metadata. And metadata is data that provides information about other data. And in the context of social media, metadata is actually data that is describing or is in, contained within some of that user posted content. And usually metadata can help in understanding that primary user content. So metadata can be things such as timestamps, location data, tags and hashtags, user profile information and even device information. And this metadata can actually provide more context around the user posted information, and it can actually provide more information about the person who is actually posting that content. So we can start to understand a little bit more about that person. So as you're posting this content, you should always understand that there's metadata being posted as well. And the final type of data is interactions. So interactions are actually the ways that users engage with each other and other pieces of content on social media. So these are the actions that reflect their responses to user posted content. So things such as likes and reactions. So this is where we're starting to understand a user's emotions towards a particular post. Shares and retweets, so watching users repost maybe some of their followers or people that they agree with. Comments and replies, so people actually engaging in certain conversations. Mentions and tags, so their users actually referencing other people in their social media content. And then follows and unfollows, so users actually taking in the initiative to actually subscribe or unsubscribe to a certain person or to a certain group. And interactions are actually essential for understanding user engagement. And it can actually help identify the spread of information across social media. So these three types of social media media data, user posted, metadata and interactions can be a great source of open source intelligence to try and help understand how a person actually thinks and where they could even be located or what they could be doing on a day to day basis. So when you started an OSIT investigation, what you're ultimately trying to do is look for 
information that is publicly available on the internet. So all you really need to do is know where to actually look and what you're actually looking for. So one of the biggest things you can do to start with is do an instant username search. So once you've got the username or you've got your own personal username, you can perform a search on that username to see other associated social media accounts. So using the instantusernamesearch.com, you can post a username in here. It's gonna search to see where that username is actually already been taken. So as you can go in here, you can see that our team empirical training account is actually taken on Instagram and it's actually taken on various other social media. So this is a great way to, to go quickly and find out locations of where that person might be reusing that username and maybe what they're posting on that particular site. So next up then, we can use tools to perform reverse image searches to find even more information about yourself online. And one tool that is really good for reverse image searches is one called PimEyes. And it is actually as simple as going in, uploading a, a photo, go in here, It'll perform analysis and process the photo, as you can do here. You can do start search. Remember to read the terms and conditions for all of these websites. They're free for a reason. There is a chance that they could be using these images for marketing purposes. So always be careful with the images that you're putting in here. So you do start search. It's going to start searching for the images and it's going to do a reverse image search. And you can see it's found all of the images of me online based on some of the videos that I've actually created. But this one here is actually from my Facebook page. So these are actually public, but this one is private and it still managed to pick it up. So now we can deep dive further into social media network analysis and OSINT intelligence. And we're looking at some Facebook techniques. So again, OSINT framework has got a list of tools, but one fantastic tool is called who posted what. So what you wanna do first, you get the ID of the account. So here we're gonna use Mark Zuckerberg's. When we click find, it returns the account ID, UID is four. So as we've got that now, we can come down here and we can find posts directly from account four, which is Mark Zuckerberg. They're all about AI. Click search. And what you'll see here then is that it's finding all the posts that Mark Zuckerberg has actually made related to AI. So this is extremely powerful. So all you need to do is post the link of your account, get your UID, and then you can perform various searches to find specific posts that that account has actually made. Again, be very, very careful with this information that you're using here. Please only use it to perform searches on yourself to see what information there is about you. Don't go using this to track people. So finally then for this video, we're gonna be looking at Instagram and Twitter for clues that can aid us in open source intelligence investigation. So going back to the OSINT framework, what you can see here then is a tool called OSINTagram, and that'll open up a GitHub page and as you can see here, this is actually a Python based tool that can help you collect and analyze and run reconnaissance on certain Instagram accounts. So I haven't actually got this installed for this video um, because this is just an overview, but if you want me to go in depth and install this OSINT Instagram tool and go over that, then let me know in the comments and I can do that for you. But this tool, this shows you exactly how to install it. What it's gonna show you then are some of the tools and commands. So you get an information about the specific target Instagram page, you can get a list of users who commented on specific posts, get a list of users who are tagged in that target's posts. Um, so you can run this for your social media account and just see what information is out there about you. It's even possible to quickly download users' photos into an out put folder and it's even possible to locate any location information with this as well so like i said if you want me to set this up and you want me to show you how to actually use this tool comment that down below and i'll do this for you so this final tool then is related to actually searching twitter for specific information and it's actually called bird hunt so what you can do then is actually find tweets by location so you come in here and then you can select your location so let's say we're going to go to france confirm your location can select the radius and it'll just search for tweets that are being currently posted in that geolocation. So extremely powerful. So if you're looking for a specific target or you're in that specific location and you're making tweets, you can see how it's hugely possible for anyone to be able to search and confirm your exact location. If you're making a tweet from that location and you present your location information, then it's clear that you're likely you've been there in the last few minutes. And there's even a timestamp for these as well. So they know exactly when you tweeted from that, that tweeted from that location as well. So I urge you to explore all of these various OSINT tools. As you can see, each one of them is extremely powerful, but remember with great power comes 
great responsibility. So make sure that you're using them for the correct purposes. So conclude then, like I said, with great power comes great responsibility. And you can see from these tools how they can be extremely powerful in identifying and finding open source intelligence on yourself and on anybody out there, which is why you have to be extremely careful and always be ethical when you're using these tools. Always think critically when you're performing any type of open source intelligence investigation. So to recap, you now understand what open source intelligence is. You understand where to go using OSINT framework to find the correct tools. And now you have a good understanding of how to actually use some of these tools. Tools such as the instant username search, reverse image search, some Facebook OSINT techniques to see who posted what, and how to review Instagram and Twitter for open source intelligence clues. Again, be extremely responsible when you're using these tools. So did you find this deep dive into the digital world eye-opening? If you have stuck to the end, then I think you probably are somebody who would be really interested in cybersecurity. And if you do want to learn more about cybersecurity basics, then I'm sure you'd like this video about malware analysis for beginners. So go and watch that next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in that video.